Hey everybody, this is Shane R. Monroe with Monroe World. Magnetic charging cable. Do you need one? Should you have one? Are they safe? Stick around and we'll show you all about it. Okay, so um, this is uh, sort of aimed at Quest users. I got a Quest 1 here and a Quest 2. But the magnetic charging cable is a useful tool and I've been using one for years. I highly recommend everybody use them and I'm going to show you exactly why. The original charging cable that I've been recommending in my article, see down below in the description, uh, seems to have changed manufacturers or it's changed versions and it is no longer shipping with an elbow shaped connector. So I am a fan of said elbow shaped connectors and so I decided to grab this Digital Ant Edition version manufacturer from digitalant.online. And I thought I would open it for you. I'll show you how these magnetic chargers work for those of you who are not connected to them uh, or familiar with them rather. And then um, we'll plug them in and make sure that they hold up from a data perspective as well. So let's get started. So I've got the, uh, I got two different quests here. Anything that uh, in involves having a USB port can be uh, used with the magnetic charging cable. Let's open this guy up. So most of these come with a series of items, the cords themselves, and they usually vary in terms of connectors, right? So in this case, this one has an elbow. This one has an elbow. And this one has an elbow. So all three of these have elbows. In some cases, they have straight on plugs. And you're saying, well, why would you want a straight on plug with a Quest? And the answer is you wouldn't. But for other devices, you may want a straight on plug. So for this particular digital ant, it looks like all of these are angled. So these connectors are magnetic tips. They're essentially pogo pins, for those of you who remember back that far. And then you have some sort of little plug that you plug into the device itself. I'm down my cameraman today, but I'm going to do my best to kind of give you a good look at them. Right? And so each one of these has its own plug with it. Let me do all these. All right? So each one of them has one, a tip already pre-installed, and these are all USB-Cs. That's good. And these are also magnetic with each other, of course, as you would expect them to be. And let's open the last one. So, oh, I guess I got them all. All right, so if we bring these guys out, you'll see that these two are the same length, and I believe these are five and a half feet. I'd have to look on the configuration I ordered. Here's the last one, and we'll get the tip. My cameraman showed up, and you get to hear my dogs bark. Okay, so we had an excessive Morky attack over here, and listen, no Mineral World video would be complete without having barking dogs in the background, but this was just going a little bit crazy. So, picking up where we left off, let's talk about the ends of these cables. So, as I mentioned before, these are braided. Almost all of these magnetic cables all tend to be braided in higher quality and construction. And these run about 14, 15 bucks. Where we typically see problems with cables are within the edge, you know, with the ends, the tips. Um, breaking or whatever, and those tend not to happen here, but eventually these uh, tips do lose some of their magnetic pull, and sometimes the um, the pins misalign and they simply uh, stop working. I've actually, the reason I wanted to order more of them was one, to test this brand with the Oculus Quest, as well as to replace some of mine that were starting to go. And they last quite a while though, and um, I use these things constantly all day, every day. So in the course of a day, I could plug and unplug these into a, a Quest multiple multiple times, maybe a half a dozen or even a dozen if I'm really busy. So that's of these guys. Now also usually included, and again, you'll want to check the, the product description, but for these digital arts, they come with alternative tips. And these tips all come in different um, flavors. So these tips that are on here now, let's look at those real quick. So these tips are... USB-C's, which are what the Quests are, which is perfect. And all three of these cables came with their own USB-C connector tip, which is great. I'm going to kind of take all these tips off and put them over here. But what else comes in here? So it also comes with 
uh, six other tips. And I can tell by looking at these, this looks like a Thunderbolt. This looks like a USB micro, micro USB. Over here, it looks like another micro and another Thunder and another micro. And so this looks like an Apple connector. So, so essentially you get three of all types of connectors, three USB-Cs, three Thunderbolts, and then three of the USB, the micro USB, which is more common for the last generation of cell phones and devices of which I happen to have many as well. Also, of course, we have these little guys, little plastic guys for actually removing these once you put them inside. So I have here my, uh, my Logitech MX mouse a trackball. I'm a huge fan of it. And as you can see here, I have a, a, a tip already in here. I'm just going to remove that tip. And you can see that this tip came from a USB, micro USB. And that's the plug there. Now, it just so happens that the last generation of cables that I bought, and this one happened to be compatible. So I'm just going to stick this guy right back in there. And then, now see, this is the time that a, a, a head-on plug would be more suitable than a side one, although it does connect and it does work. So maybe you would like it that way. But I'm here to see what it looks like on the Quest. So we'll do that next. Both Quest 1 and Quest 2 both use USB C connectors. You can see I already have one in the Quest 1 still. We'll just put that to the side because I know a lot of people are using Quest 2s these days. So we have nothing in here. Now, let's talk about why you might want to use uh, magnetic charging tips like these. So first off, there's a plug and unplug factor. Now, the Quest 2, in my opinion, is rather cheaply built, and that's why they got away with the price point. Like overusing my connectors anyway. I prefer to do something magnetic. I prefer wireless charging. I prefer wireless data transfer just because I've had my wife had a phone where she used the plug an awful lot. And this was a Samsung Galaxy. It wasn't some cheap, you know, Chinese knockoff phone. But this was a this was like a, a totally quality phone and her port eventually eventually shorted out or something and she plugged it in one day and it blew up the whole phone. Lost months and months of pictures. She was really upset. And that's when we started looking at these little magnetic cables, uh, uh, connector tips and cables. So this is really easy to install. You just plug this little guy in. That's it. It pops right in. So now you can see that it's in here and you don't have to ever take that out ever. I mean, until you need to for some other reason. But if all you're going to do is charge it and plug this guy in, you now have the ability to do so. And because it's edged, right? Right. So you can just take a little zip tie here, do whatever you need to do, put a piece of Velcro in here. And now you've got a great solution in order to uh, keep this guy charged. And as for the strength, right, I'm going to try to, okay, it's definitely not going to hold the weight of the Quest, but these things have a really, really good hold. Let's see how much, how much tension I can actually put on these before. Well, it doesn't help. It's not showing off the uh, tension very well, but I'm telling you, this is, this is a good grip. This is not going to come off with you going crazy with your quest. Um, and that's a, that's a huge selling point as well. Obviously you're going to have this thing tied down, right? So it's not going to get thrown around anyway, but this isn't going to get shaken loose because you're pulling face huggers off your head in Half-Life Alex, for example. So the next question is, are these USB twos or USB threes? These are USB 2.0 cables. I am, I am, Highly doubtful that USB 3.0 cables of durable quality exist. And the only reason I say that is because I've gone looking for them. I've only found a couple of sets that are even for sale. And the ones I have found have absolutely no magnetic hold whatsoever. I mean, you could breathe on this thing and this cable would pop right off. And so I actually returned them and the vendor wrote me back, smaller vendor, and said, hey, just kind of curious why you return these cables. And it's like, dude, there's like no magnetic hold on these things. So you're probably asking yourself, um, can you use this not only for power and charging, but can you use it for Oculus Link? And we're going to test that theory shortly after we're done looking at uh, this, these cables and the physical makeup. Again, these are magnetic charging cables. They're about 15 bucks. They come in a variety of um, manufacturers make these guys on Amazon. I will warn you now, be very, very careful. We're going to test this one here so you'll know it's good. Uh, and the one that I linked to you is no longer selling the exact same plugs. And I haven't tested those, so please don't buy them. However, 
I will tell you that a lot of these magnetic charging cables are just charging cables. They do not conduct data. And even if they do conduct data, they still might not work for things like Android Auto uh, or CarPlay. So you have to be really careful, look at the reviews, find somebody who actually has these in hand and have tested them live with the products that you're looking to work because they don't always do the trick. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to shift over to my computer. I'm going to get on my webcam and I am going to hook these guys up to the PC and we are going to see how they fare for doing Quest Link. So stick around and we'll go to that next. Okay, and now we're back here. We have the uh, the uh, Quest 2 headset and we have our, our braided magnetic cable and I've got this plugged into a USB power bank back there. Basically a power strip for USBs. I, I, I can't recommend them enough if you have tons and tons of USB devices. So you can see we've already have our, um, our tip inserted and of course we have the cable in question. I'm just going to pop it on there and you can see we've got a power indicator light. Take it off. So definitely conducts power just fine. The next question of course is how does it behave in terms of of oculus link so i'll just pop this out and i've got i'm going to plug it into my computer over here a little off camera action there i'm going to plug it into the computer I'll grab my controllers and i will pop inside the headset kind of kneel down here cancel and oculus link is available oculus link and you know what, I'll strap this guy on my head so we can kind of keep it awake. And I'm going to move the Oculus app into view here. Hopefully that's coming over well. Um, and then I will hop over to devices. And you will see that the uh, Quest 2 is picked up. And it does, of course, because as I mentioned before, this is not a three USB 3 cable. It is two, uh, USB 2. Then you can see it is definitely picking it up. And, uh, of course, but it is, it is uh, only USB 2. So I will go ahead and I will, um, let me see if I can start something just for, just for giggles that you could actually see. Uh, maybe I'll start Batman here, just so you guys can actually see a game run. And I'll throw that over into the screen where you can see it. Loading Batman Arkham VR. See? Okay. To ensure the best VR Make sure both my controllers are awake. Mm -hmm. All right. So, there you go. Yeah, but who wants to play standing, right? I can see my, my controllers are all fine. All right. So, there you go. I. Just wanted you to see that it actually worked as a link cable. Again, it's 2.0, so don't expect miracles. But uh, for most games, you'll probably be able to play with it just fine. So, I'm going to poke my head in here. That's going to wrap up this review of these uh, magnetic cables. Uh, please, like this video, subscribe, share it with your friends, check that little bell so you can get all of our uh, great goodies right here on the channel. This is Shane R. Monroe, and as always, we appreciate you watching. Thanks so much, and we'll talk to you next time. Take care, everybody.